So dictionary keys must be unique. And if you recall from the last video, uh, where we're just continuing from that, uh, this three is a key. The value associated with it is this zero. Um, you know, I can call this key one again, and I'll just call this key two, and I'll call this key three. And we'll leave those values as they are. Um, so these keys should be unique. And let's just add another key two uh, to kind of prove a point here. Um, then let's put the value of key two to four. And let's see what's it. Let's just go ahead and see what happens. Notice key one is zero as we declared it. Key two is four. So essentially what we've done here is we've overwritten the original key two with uh, and associated the value four with it instead of the value one. So that's just a, sort of a, a sense of this is how uh, <laughs> this is how keys have to be unique. You know, it's not going to throw an error when you try to add two of the same key, but it will overwrite the previous one if you declare a dictionary in this way. Um, so let's look at another way to declare a dictionary. You'll see this a lot, and you'll see this especially when you are using a dictionary to accumulate values in some way. So um, this is an empty dictionary. Don't be confused uh, and think this is a set. This is a dictionary. And I'm just going to say this now. Uh, to create some set s, you're actually going to use the, the set constructor. Or you're going to use something like this. This is, this is another way to declare a set. This is not a dictionary. It's a set. Um, however, this is a dictionary when you declare it in this format. Um, that can be a little bit confusing, right? So feel free to do that to declare a dictionary. And we'll get into adding keys and values in the next video.